Hello viewers, this is Wagodaru now taking you through this tutorial for A level applied mathematics and this video we're going to talk about a topic called motion in a Cartesian plane involving constant acceleration. So this topic is in mechanics and is suitable for students in both senior five and senior six offering principal math as part of their combination. So suppose a particle A starts from point X with position vector R0. So let's first show that. So OX will be the position vector initially, so it, and it is represented by R0 with that tilde. And moves with a constant velocity V in vector to point Y in time T as shown below. So from point x it will move the constant velocity to point y so now x y is now the displacement vector from the initial position and since velocity is constant it implies that the displacement moved will be time times that constant velocity so a line joining from o to y is what we call the position vector at any time t after a time t it can also be called the displacement vector from the initial, from the origin. So know those two words. We have two words. There is displacement vector from the initial position, and that will be x. x y is the displacement vector from the initial position x, while o y is the displacement displacement vector from the origin. So they, you have to be keen where it is starting from. Now from the above diagram, we shall now come and see that O Y is equal to O X plus X Y. Then can see that from move from O to Y is will be equal to, to to moving from O to X plus from X to Y. So when I represent that with the symbols given, I'll come up with an equation which is R T being equal to R naught plus T times velocity. Now this is the equation which shows the path taken by a body moving with constant acceleration and it shall, it shall be used more frequently in this video. Now we shall start with example 1. Example 1 came from your 1997, paper 2, question 3 and it says a particle with a position vector 10, 3, 5 moves with a constant speed. So note this word constant speed of 6 meters per second in the direction 1 to 2. Find its distance from the origin. So know this word from the origin after 5 seconds. Now the first thing to do is to make a sketch that ought from O to X then from X to Y. So X is the initial position which is this then to move up to this point after a time t so that t is equal to five seconds so what we don't know is this velocity in vector form this v in vector form what we are given we are given the magnitude which is six and also the direction which is that so the first thing to do is to convert magnitude to to positive to vector form So how do we convert magnitude to vector form? This will be the formula to convert from magnitude to vector form. Remember, vec vec the vector, the velocity vector will be equal to the magnitude of that velocity or the speed over the magnitude of the direction vector multiplied by the direction vector. So that is the formula to, to, check, to convert from magnitude to vector form. So in this case, we are given that the speed was six, meet, 6 meters per second, which is there. Then the magnitude, so the direction vector was 1 to 2. And therefore, the magnitude will be square root of 1 squared plus 2 squared plus 2 squared. Now, when I simplify, when I simplify this square root, I'll come up with 3, which is here. And this 6 is still there, and this vector is still there. So the 6 over 3 is 2, therefore 2 times 1 will give me 2, which is that. Then 2 times 2 will give me 4, and 2 times 2 will give me 4. So with that, I've now converted from magnitude to vector form. And now that I've got the velocity vector, 
I can now come here and use this triangle very use this triangle to get the answer that is give, required. So the distance from the origin is this from O to Y. So to get from the distance, you have I have to first get the displacement. Remember, displacement is vector, and displacement is and distance is magnitude. So I'll come here and say that displacement from the origin is equal to R T, which is equal to R naught plus T velocity in vector form. Then I'll come and substitute. So R naught, which is that, then T is five and velocity in vector form is that. So when I simplify, I'll come up with ten twenty-three twenty-five meters and now this is the displacement but remember they ask for distance so i have to go ahead and get the magnitude now if i come and say that distance in distance from the origin will be equal to square root of 20 squared plus 23 squared plus 25 squared so these values are got from this and when i use the calculator i'll come up with 39.4208 meters so basically that's what they wanted and now let's see how much can be awarded so yeah m1 is for you to substitute in the formula to convert from magnitude to vector form and b1 is for you to get the velocity vector then yeah b1 is for you to get the displacement from origin m1 is for you to substitute in the Pythagoras theory then a1 is for you to get the output so basically that's how the five mass could come about now shall go to example two. Example two came from UNEB 1996, paper two, question two, and it says, a particle with position vector 40, 10, 20 moves with constant speed, not that word, constant speed, of five meters per second in the direction of the vector 474. Find its distance from the origin after nine seconds. So the first thing to do is to draw our triangle to show how the motion is. So it's starting from point X and ending at point Y. Now this velocity in vector form we don't know yet, but the good thing is that we know the magnitude and we also know the direction. This R naught is this one initial position vector, and therefore we can use that we we can use that information to get the distance from the origin. So you come and still use the same formula we used to convert from magnitude to vector, whereby you say if I want velocity in vector form, it will be called the magnitude of the velocity over magnitude of its direction multiplied by the velocity by multiplied by the direction vector. So in this case, the mag the speed was five. And the direction vector was 474. Therefore, magnitude will be square root of 4 squared plus 7 squared plus 4 squared. Now, when I simplify this square root, I'll come up with 9. Therefore, 5 over 9 times this will be our velocity in vector form. And now that I've got the velocity in vector form, I can go ahead and get displacement from the origin using the formula RT is equal to R0 plus T V. And when I substitute R, so R naught was the initial position vector, which was 40, 10, 20, and time was 9 seconds. Then this velocity was 5 over 9, and then 4, 7, 4. So this 9 with this 9 cancels, I remain with 5. So 40 plus 5 times 4 will give me 60. 10 plus 5 times 7 will give me 45. 20 plus 5 times 4 will give me 40. So now that I've got the displacement from the origin, I can now get the distance from the origin by getting its magnitude. So I'll come here and say distance from origin is equal to square root of 60 squared plus 45 squared plus 40 squared, which will give me 85. So basically, that's what they wanted. And now let's see how much can be awarded. So M1 is for substituting and B1 is for you to get the velocity vector. Another B1 is for you to get the displacement from the origin. M1 is for substituting and A1 is for you to get the output which they want. So basically that's how the five mass could come about. 
Now we shall go to example 3. Example 3 says that a particle moves from point A with coordinates 2, 1 to point B with coordinates 9, 25 along a line with a constant speed of 50 meters per second. So now this word constant speed. Find its velocity vector and time taken from A to B. So the first thing to do is make a sketch. Now it started from point A up to point B. So the displacement it moved from the initial position will be time times velocity in vector form. Now we don't have velocity in vector form and we don't have the direction, but the direction can be got from this because we know that AB will now be the direction of motion. Therefore, I have to first get a B. So I'll come here and say that AB is equal to OB minus OA. Therefore, OB was 925 and OA was 2, 1. Therefore, when I subtract, for example, 9 minus 2, I'll come up with 7. Then 25 minus 1, I'll come up with 24. So now that I've got the direction vector, I can now convert my velocity. I can now convert my magnitude into vector. So velocity in vector form will be equal to magnitude of velocity over the magnitude of the direction vector multiplied by the direction vector. So speed was 50. Speed was 50 and the direction vector was 724. Therefore magnitude will be 7 squared plus 24 squared everything under root. So the, when I simplify this square root, I'll come up with 25, and this 50 will remain, and this one will remain. Now, 50 times over 25 is 2, therefore 2 times 7 will give me 14, and 2 times 24 will give me 48 meters per second. So now that I've got the velocity in vector form, I can use now the equation. So I'll come and say that, remember they told us, They told us that find its velocity vector, so which we have got, and the time taken to move from A to B. So, we are, since we know AB, and this AB is equal to T times velocity vector, I'll come here and say that that AB is equal to T times velocity vector, and when I substitute, AB is that, and t is what we want then velocity vector is that so when i simplify by from equality i can say that 7 is equal to 14 14t therefore t will be equal to 0 0.5 so it will be the same case if you use the lower part whereby 24 is equal to 48t you still get the same answer so basically that's what they wanted and now let's see how marks can be awarded So B1 is for you to get the displacement AB, M1 is for you to substitute, and B1 is for you to get the ve velocity vector. Then here M1 is for you to equate the two, and this A1 is for you to get the time. So this was not supposed to be distance, but it is time. <laughs>